The 101st running of the Indy 500, the greatest spectacle in racing, will kick off on May 28th. To celebrate, iRacing hosts its own version of the Indy 500 for its online community, featuring the Delara DW12 at the virtual Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I'm Joe Peak from the Global Sim Racing Channel with Brian Yazik and the iRacing DW12. So let's do a lap around Indy. Despite looking identical from the air, all four corners are going to be very different. Turn one is the tightest of them, and with the grandstands and pit wall, it practically feels claustrophobic as you fly in there. Even though turn two feels a lot more open, the exit tends to catch drivers out and sees a lot of spins. Of course, the DW12 cuts a big ol' hole in the air at these speeds, and you can expect the back straight to produce lots of passes. At least, that's if drivers can withstand the buffeting of the dirty air through the corners. Turn three is probably the least scary of them, but I've found understeer tends to be a problem here. And finally, Force Exit Wall jumps out at you quick if you get too complacent, so stay focused. Winning here is still so highly revered, even after a century of races, because it isn't as simple as press the gas and go left. Though this 2.5 mile track can leave you with the highest of highs, this place is also cruel, and your race can end quicker than you can blink for reasons out of your control. But this is why drivers and fans keep returning, and why hopefuls both young and old alike keep putting their everything into winning. And with that, that's a lap around Indianapolis Motor Speedway. For more information on iRacing, check out iRacing.com.